So, uh, my PIDP11 showed up in the last day or two. It was out on the mailbox waiting for me. So I thought we'd go ahead and unbox it here. I'm actually surprised how quick it got here. It was shipped from uh, Switzerland, I think Tuesday of this week, and this is Sunday. So it was delivered, you know, yesterday or earlier in the week, and that's much quicker than I thought it was going to get here. So I was expecting a couple of weeks. So pretty excited. So let's take a look at what all we've got here. Lots of uh, my dear, thanks for your business. Leave positive feedback. I'm not sure if that actually is just packing material or and something else. Little bits of shredded paper. Which all get shuffled over into the trash. Styrofoam peanut. Again, off to the trash. Box felt nice and solid. It feels like it's packaged well. The uh, wooden base that it sits on, very nice. That will probably get painted. Set the box aside. And we will work our way through the bubble wrap. Pretty excited about this kit. I uh, used a PDP-1170. I've actually worked on a lot of different uh, deck machines, PDP-11 series. So, uh, pretty excited. Raspberry Pi Plus mirror image. Yep, it'll be a. Uh, I've already got the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi Plus imaged and ready to go. Careful with this painted front panel, not to scratch or mar the back. It's, I believe the silk screening is done on the back, and then you're looking through the, the plexiglass. Uh, yeah, I can see that all the painting is on the back, so you need to be careful not to scratch the back or it will ruin the paint. So that needs to be treated carefully. We've got the plastic case that it all sits in. Looks very familiar, the digital logo here. I'm going to leave this in the plastic just to help protect it. The uh, back panel with lots of knockouts. Uh, knockouts are for, you know, DB9 or DB25, RS-232 connectors, uh, probably power and other connectors. Uh, looks like it's laser cut. Pretty nice. Getting into the uh, components here. for uh, setting up the uh, toggle switches. You know, there's the instructions that show how this goes together. The LED alignment and kind of shield. Big old bag of switches. Bag of components. Piece of this uh, bubble wrap to wrap that front panel up in just to protect it. Definitely don't want to mar the paint on it, that would spoil everything. So this can just go sit back in the box. And 
safe and out of the way. I'm going to take the back panel and the front panel. I'm going to wrap those up as well. Just to help protect those, that will come much later in the build. PCBs, uh, LED alignment tool, this tool is used to align the LEDs like this, these will get broke apart and used to align the switches, that's very cool, I didn't print out the uh, manual I need to do that, the assembly manual, so I've got all the steps, but I do know I'm going to need to sort the parts.